Hello and welcome to a new video. Um, today I would like to show you how you can use fleet management tools for your moving assets on Datacake. For this demonstration, we are using our new map widget. And as you can see here, I'm tracking the location of several buses in a city called Münster. Um, what we're going to see here is the map widget. You can see the historical positions in here. And what is new is on this map, you can see all these um, buses here. You can click on one of those. And this will bring up our new sidebar, which gives some detail. Like in here, we see the kilometers, so the distance covered of this bus since added to data cake, which is 335 kilometers. Um, today, it was making 187 kilometers and 16 kilometers per hour. This is the average distance covered in one hour. Um, you can see here, um, there is even more detail. You can zoom into it. Um, we also adapted the zoom level, so you can really deeply zoom into um, the map and see, okay, where was this bus going and what did he do here? Yeah, and scroll back and forth. Also, you can see the movement profile of it. The green area chart is the total distance covered within um, one hour and each bar represents the distance covered for five minutes. So this is the um, distance profile of it. To display this sidebar in here, we are using the standard dashboard of a device. Um, we also have a button here so you can jump to that particular device directly. And for example, we can see the profile here and as well, we can just go into this really deeply and also see where this bus was going like on the sidebar. Um, we are using the mobile dashboard for this sidebar dashboard that, that you just saw. So we can make some changes in here, like, okay, we do have one hour ago, but we want to have the full day and we want everything to be quantized to 60 minutes, for example. And then it brings us the daily movement profile for this. We can save this. Um, I've just edited the um, default or the mobile dashboard. And when I'm going back to the bus fleet tracking and select this once more, it, and here you can see the different and adapted profile, the movement profile. And also this one was moving four hours ago, latest, uh, the last time, and it doesn't make any movement at all right now. Yeah. So how do you do this? How was I doing or integrating this bus data to data cake? Well, actually it was super easy. I was searching or Googling on the internet to find some open GPS or open API data APIs that would provide me with uh, moving GPS uh, data. And I found this pretty cool bus radar um, API from a company called Conterra.de, which is a German company also in Münster. And they somehow attached uh, GPS um, sensors to all of these buses here. And they provide me with this real time information. So I hooked up um, a KGRED instance. I used one of my KGRED instances. And in here, I'm using a timestamp node that repeats to call this API. And I'm just browsing through it, processing all these devices, and I'm then forwarding this to a REST uh, or to a uh, webhook integration from one of the devices here on Datacake. Let's go into one of these devices. And what you can see in here is in the configuration, for example, you can see, okay, this is the decoder here and the short map, and we are just simply um, accessing um, or using this endpoint URL. So data is forwarded to that URL, and then this decoder is used to route the information onto the particular fields. And this then creates the dashboard in here. So I could add more devices to that product. They all just simply have this dashboard. And then we just created this new map with the new map widget that allows you to see all your devices and then click on one particular device and that will bring device detail just like you um, defined it in the mobile um, editor. Yeah, and everything is shown here and this quick hotspot link to the device. Yes, that's it. That's how you can use our new map widget or data cake for your asset tracking uh, things. And it's just so funny and relaxing to see the buses moving and just, um, yeah, just clicking around here. Oh, last but not least, I also integrated some KPIs of all the buses in here in this workspace. 
Um, it's not all buses around Münster or covered in this API, but just the selection of those, I think 13 in total, uh, all of which nine are online right now. And they have been covering a distance of almost 2,600 kilometers in the last two days since I've been recording this into DataK. And the average bus makes around 200 kilometers. Yes, that's it. That's the demonstration of our new map widget. And I think it's so cool to just scroll around and see what the buses actually do. And you can really deeply zoom into the cart now, see all the distances that has, they have covered. Click on a single bus and it will open up the, um, yeah, detailed dashboard, which is the mobile dashboard of your device, and also bring you this, will bring you everything that you designed here, customly made on the sidebar. This is one of my favorite new features and one of the first of 2022. And yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates to come pretty soon. Have a nice weekend. See you soon.